Greetings to my team of 1 to 44, all Starseeds, Love Workers, and Way Showers. It is 725-2019 at 1.11 p.m. 111. Happy day out of time day. And it definitely feels like time has ended. Or linear time, we should say. Definitely very feeling very spatial today. The birds are singing. We have a line of birds along the fence and along the roof. When I was practicing meditation this morning, my neighbor's pigeons were singing to me through the window. And I was laughing. I was singing back. It was like... <laughs> they are a trip. Those homing pigeons, he's got, he has these ones that dive bomb and spin. He is a trip. Zachary Zayed, he's from the Middle East, and he's obsessed with birds and flowers. His yard is like the Garden of Eden, and he took me into his garage the other day, and it was like a bird aviary. There were all these birds flying around my head, and he raises and breeds birds and pigeons, and they line up on the roof, and they have a really cool sound when they take off flying. It's like heavy paper. And I suspect that they may be the birds that are leaving their little white feathers by my door. So this day out of time, this morning, 999 was coming through, 191, 911, also 1044, 144. And today is 1313, 13 kin of the 13 moon calendar. So that's a 44 again. And when I connected with the Great Spirit this morning, with the Holy Spirit... The message that was coming through is that the heavenly Holy Spirit is within you. All that seek, ye shall find the kingdom within yourself. The king's dome. The king of kings, the holies of holy. The holies of the holiness. The divine sacred self. The kingdom is within that still center, the zero point within yourself. Just keep going through and through and through until you break on through. This day out of time is a day of breakthroughs, as tomorrow we end up in the beginning of time, or the new beginning of the galactic calendar, as we're shifting into natural time. We've been living for hundreds of years in unnatural time, based on the solar cycles. We're transitioning back to natural time, or harmony, of the lunar cycles. The matrika, the divine waters, the divine feminine. As the Divine Feminine and Masculine dance together in perfect harmony. So today is all about the day out of time. These transmissions are from the Mayan calendar as we celebrate this day of no time or non-physical time or fluidity time or non-linear time. Time as art, time outside of time or cycles within cycles. And the hummingbird energy is coming through. Walela, aho. Meteaku o yasin, all my relations, all my brothers and sisters, seven generations in the past, seven generations in the future, we are connected to all through that still center of our conscious awareness, our pure awareness. From the Dream Spell Journey by Valon Votan and Balon Nook, Happy Day Out of Time and Magic Flight of the Dragon Wave Spell. The day out of time is a special day for time as art and planetary peace through culture. The day out of time, D-O-O-T, is a visionary concept brought forth by Jose and Lloydine Arwellis, Balon Votan and Balon Ilk. It was first included inside their legendary publication, 13 Moons in Motion, a Dream Spell Primer, from 1992, Planet Art Network. The year 1992 marked the first day out of time on July 25th, 1992, Crystal Mirror, Kin 38 equals 19 plus 19, and also the collective beginning of the 13 moons on July 26, 1992, Cosmic Storm, Kin 39 equals 13 plus 13 plus 13, also 1991 was a critical shift for myself and many others, the 1991. The Mirror, today's Kin 13, Cosmic Skywalker, 13 Skywalker is coded 1313, Seal 13, Tone 13, and it marks the completion of 27 years, 13 plus 14 since the beginning of the day out of time, and the 13 moon counts in 1992. 
It also marks the omega point of the cosmic moon year, which was coded by Kin 169, equaling 13 times 13, the alpha and the omega, power of 13. Here and now, let us remember these timeless words by Jose and Lloydine Arguelles, the founders of the day at a time and the 13 moons calendar. Reflect the truth, dissolve the false, attune to the earth, revolve in natural time, establish all within the order of universal forgiveness. Truth is love, tolerance is justice, peace is forever. In a day like today, let us honor the ones who came before us. In Lakek, Dream Spell Journey, Tortuga 1320 Team, Today's Kin 13, The Red, Cosmic Skywalker, The Code for the Day, I Endure in Order to Explore, Transcending Wakefulness, I Seal the Output of Space with the Cosmic Tone of Presence, I Am Guided by the Power of Navigation, Harmonic 4, Electric Output, Express Intelligence of Service. So we are in service for humanity. We are living in the presence of the one, the one true source, the one great spirit, the great mystery. This is from Cosmic Gateway, day out of time, the end of one cycle as we move into a new galactic year tomorrow on the 26th of July. Reflection of the past year, reflection of the past 13 years as we wrap up yet another completion. How have you felt in the past few days? It's been such a huge month of July, and still we have one more noon moon on the 31st. Cosmic shakeup as more people awaken to the higher consciousness template being restored on this beautiful planet. It's been quite a few days with some big heart chakra expansions happening, asking us to step up, up level, and take new steps along our soul's path to the highest embodiment. Some real physical symptoms going on to squeeze us through physical heart pressure, which sometimes can be a result as we open up to this new heart-centered space. Physically exhausted, restless night of clearing, which has been going on for weeks, no doubt, for good reason as the imperative push to clear through this threshold as we zoom into connecting with new timelines. Speaking of timeline, have you noticed to speak with people about a recent past experience that they have no knowledge of, or vice versa. I find it so fascinating how at times it seems that we are very noticeably interfacing with different timeline versions of our nearest and dearest. It makes me smile, especially when they are heart-wrenching experiences at the time seamlessly fade away. In the knowingness, we have anchored into a higher timeline and continually as the new brighter days are shining through. And these are the brighter days of the new earth, the glorious, love and light of the one true source the areas of focus at present are the solar plexus stomach issues digestive problems the heart emotional matters of the heart of love and the recognition of the most important things some people experience a raging sore throat focusing on speaking personal truth with with authenticity would love to hear about your observations as we move through this cycle of time or should i say out of time Sending great cosmic love, Alicia Brache, or Brock, B R A C H E, from Cosmic Eight Way, the letter, the number eight, Cosmic Letter Eight Way dot com, and this final one from Harmonic Convergence twenty twenty N S one point three two point zero point zero Kin thirteen 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 Day Out of Time. Today we celebrate the day at a time, and tomorrow we receive the new galactic Maya year of the White Magnetic Wizard. The day at a time is the last day of the 13 moon, 28 day calendar, a day which is no day of the week or month at all, but a day to celebrate our human heritage on earth and find unity and diversity. It is up to us to co-create the world that we would like to see. The day at a time is the day to celebrate, time is art. And since art is the basis of constructive peace, this day is also celebrated as International Peace Through Culture Day. Peace through culture is a fundamental premise of the 13 moon, 28 day calendar. When we celebrate time as art, we are co-creating peace through culture. Day out of time is signaled with the presence of the banner of peace at the celebrations across more than 80 countries where this green day is observed. The symbol on this banner signifies the unity of art, science, and spirituality. Since 1935, this has been internationally rec recognized as an instrument of peace through culture. 
This day also is marked by ceremonies of universal forgiveness as a way of starting the new year off on a clean, compassionate footing. Where there is peace, there is culture. Where there is culture, there is peace. Nicholas Warrich. Sirius Rising, entering new Sirius Cycle 32, June 25th through 26th, 2019. Kin 13, 13, 13, day at a time, and Kin 14, 14.1. Will mark the helical rising of Sirius, the brightest star in the night sky, at the sacred geometrical latitude 19.5 degrees north. On the galactic count of 260 days, this event will signal the end of the current new Sirius cycle 31. This alpha, Omega plus o Alpha portal of July 25th to 26th will also mark the end plus the start. The Alpha plus Omega points of two new fractal cycles of 13 and 28 years, respectively. A new 13-year cycle that goes from July 26, 2019, NS1.32.11, Kin 14, One Wizard, is one wizard year to 25th of July, 2032, day at a time. Kin 78, 13 Mirror, 13 Wizard Year. NS 1.45.0.0. Note, Sirius has a visual magnitude of 1.45, twice as bright as any other star in the sky. A new 28-year cycle that goes from July 26, 2019, Kin 14, one wizard, one wizard year, to 25th July 20, 2047, day out of time, Kin 93, 2 Skywalker, dash 2 Moon, NS 2.8.0.0. A perfect analog numerical match for 28.28 years also corresponds to 1,461 weeks, 1,461. A perfect fractal of the ancient Sothic cycle of 1,461 years, 1,461 years. As we close this new Syria cycle 31, in verse of 13, and get ready to start a new galactic year, it seems relevant to make once again conscious the fractal, fractal multidimensional presence of the number 13 across the whole spectrum of cycles we are now transiting. 13 days, 13 moons, 13 years, 13 baktuns. After closing yesterday the 13th moon of the 13 moon year, we are also closing today the first cycle of 13 days of the sacred Zolkin matrix, the 13-day wave spell of Red Dragon. The year bearer of this new Sirius cycle 31, 2018 to 2019, is Kin 169, 13 moon. Kin 169, 13 times 13, is guided by Kin 13, 13.13. .13. In other words, the current year bearer is guided by this day at a time. On the one moon, equaling one kin fractal count of 260 moons, this 13th moon was coded by kin 26, 13 plus 13. Next kin 26 will correspond to day 13 of moon 1. Kin 26 is the 13th clear sign of prophecy carved around the side of Pakal Votan's sarcophagus lid, Palank Lakama. Today we are closing a cycle of 13 years comprised by 13 moons each. This, Therefore, this 28-day window we just closed corresponded to moon number 169-169 of the 13-year cycle that started on July 26, 2006. Kin 209, one moon, and we are about to conclude on July 25, 2019, Kin 13, 13.13 .13 of this 13 moon year, coded by Kin 169, 13 times 13. Note this is a cycle of paramount importance, considering that it was back then at the start of the magnetic moon year, July 26, 2006, when the 13 moon 28 day matrix and the Zolkin matrix entered into perfect resonance, giving birth to a once in every 52 year event, the perfect alignment of the seventh central column of the 260 days Zolkin with the seventh central moon of the 364 plus one day sequence of the 13 moon year. 169, 13 times 13 is the number of orbits in one Venus round, 104 years. The time it takes Venus to complete 13 star pentagrams. 13 is the number of periods of 144 days comprised within the Mayan great cycle, 13 Baktun map, Wave Harmonic of History. 
And that is from Tortuga1320.com. So let us know in the comments below what you're experiencing on this day at a time and into the new magnetic galactic year coming up tomorrow or when you may be listening to this. I'd like to also thank all the other the love workers out there that are joining us on the love evolution evolution with your blueprint, star seed blueprint. Five, ten. The Star Seed Blueprint, which you can find on our website, primedisclosure.com forward slash blueprint. And watch the my transmission for the blueprint for all Star Seeds, Love Workers, Light Workers, and Way Showers. And then do you can, if you feel called, give your transmission to upload the video to YouTube and post the link below the comments in the video, our blueprint video. And then I'll post that on our website and our Facebook page. I'd also like to thank everyone that have joined us on this mission to or develop the Healing Retreat Center in Ecuador, South America, where the eagle flies with the condor, the foothills of the Andes Mountains, the sacred center, the hub of the paranormal, at the base of the spine of the Kundalini of Earth through the Andes Mountains. You can join us on this mission of raising funds at cbdpeaceoil.com. That's cbdpeaceoil.com. We're using a CBD business to raise funds for this mission, this endeavor for the Healing Retreat and Sustainable Community in Ecuador. 1733 just came through. 7337. Heaven on Earth, the New Earth. So thank you for joining us here today. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for liking, commenting, and sharing these videos. They help this, these messages get out to more people. The more people that comment and like and share, it sends the message out into the field. And thank you everyone for joining us on the Levolution Evolution Mission. Have a beautiful and blessed day and all days. Namaste. I love you all.